Dear students, I am back with another video on waves. As we have discussed so many basic concepts in our earlier videos, now in this video we are going to strike with much more interesting concepts associated with waves. So let's begin with the first topic as you see here, organ pipe. So basically an organ pipe is a hollow pipe used to produce sound of a particular frequency and this pipe can be made up of either wood or metal. You can have a look at the definition, a hollow wooden or metallic pipe used to produce sound of specific frequency is called an organ pipe. And this principle is used in making flutes and other musical instruments to produce the sound of particular frequency. Actually, these organ pipes are the air columns which allows air to vibrate inside and to produce sound of a particular frequency. So generally there are two types of organ pipes, the first is open pipe and the second is closed pipe. So basically an open pipe is a pipe which is open at both the ends and on the other hand a closed pipe is a pipe which is open at the first end and closed at the other end. You can have a look at the definitions. See an open pipe is a pipe which is open at both the ends but a closed pipe is a pipe which is open at one end and closed at the other end. Now we are going to have a deep look on fundamental frequency of vibration of an open organ pipe and what kind of harmonics are produced in this. You may get a doubt here that what does this harmonic mean? So let me clarify this doubt here itself. Actually, these harmonics are the multiples of fundamental frequency which clearly explains that how frequency is increasing whether the second frequency is double of fundamental frequency or it is three times the fundamental frequency. So let's move ahead. And let's try to find the fundamental frequency of vibration in case of open pipe. As you see here, this is an open pipe of length L. And if you send a progressive wave from the first end, it travels towards the second end. It reflects back and forms stationary wave. In the fundamental mode, the pipe vibrates with two antinodes at the corners and one node at the middle. The reason for the two antinodes at the corners is that the particles are free to move and they can have the maximum displacement and between the two antinodes there must be a node. Dear students, you can raise a question here that if it is an open end then how the wave is able to reflect? Well, the particles at the open end are free to vibrate. In this way, the wave is able to reflect. Dear students, a very important point is to be noted here in case of this fundamental frequency that as this is an open pipe for which both the ends are open and the particles are free to move at these two ends so that they will be having maximum displacement. So antinodes are formed at the free ends and the minimum distance between these two antinodes is lambda by 2 as we have already discussed. So this is the minimum possible frequency in case of an open pipe. Hence we can conclude that antinodes are always found at the open ends. Well we have taken the length of the pipe as capital L and we already know that the distance between two antinodes is lambda by 2 that is half of the wavelength. So L must be equal to lambda by 2. So here we have L is equal to lambda by 2. From this equation I can write lambda is equal to 2L. 
and we know that wave equation is v is equals to nu lambda. From this equation, I can write nu is equals to v by lambda. So this lambda is to be substituted. Here we have lambda is equals to 2L. Substituting the value of lambda, now we get nu f, that is fundamental frequency of vibration for my open pipe, that is equals to v by 2L. This 2L is coming from this lambda, as we have lambda is equals to 2L. This is also called first harmonic. In the second harmonic also, when we send the progressive wave from the first end, it travels towards the second end. It reflects back and forms the stationary wave. But this time, the pipe vibrates with three antinodes and two nodes. As we have taken the length of the pipe as capital L. Now the wavelength is twice of lambda by 2, double of lambda by 2. That is, the distance between two antinodes is lambda by 2 and here also lambda by 2 so it would be twice of lambda by 2 so this length of the pipe L must be equal to 2 lambda by 2 so L is equal to 2 lambda by 2 so from here we can find lambda value that is 2 L by 2 now from equation star we are having no is equal to V by lambda here also, this lambda value is to be substituted. So, substituting the value of lambda from this equation, that is 2L by 2. So, here I am going to have the second harmonic as no 2, that is equals to V by 2L by 2. So, this 2 comes to the numerator. Now, we have no 2 is equals to twice of V by 2L. Now, this V by 2L is equal to the fundamental frequency that we have already derived in our earlier case. So, no 2 is equal to twice of no 1. This no 1 is the fundamental frequency. This no 2 is called second harmonic or we can also call first overtone. So, this is the next possible frequency in case of an open pipe in which we can have three anti nodes and two nodes. And one more thing you can observe here that antinodes are formed at the open ends as just now we have discussed. Now let's move towards the third harmonic or second overtone in which we are sending a progressive wave which travels towards the second end, reflects back and forms stationary wave. If you see carefully, antinodes are formed at the open ends and the number of antinodes are 1, 2, 3, 4 and number of nodes are 1, 2 and 3. So in each case, antinode and node are increasing by 1. So finally, as we know, L is the length of the pipe. So now the wavelength comes out to be 3 lambda by 2. As we know, the distance between two antinodes is lambda by 2, in between these two, lambda by 2, in between these two, lambda by 2. In this way, it will be three times of lambda by 2. So, we must write L is equal to 3 lambda by 2. As we are writing here, L is equal to 3 lambda by 2. If I try to find lambda, this 3, this 3 by 2 becomes 2 by 3. So, lambda is equal to 2L by 3. Now, we know our wave equation is nu is equal to v by lambda. Again, this lambda is to be substituted. So, nu is equal to v by 2L by 3. This 2L by 3 is coming from this lambda. As we know, lambda is equal to 2L by 3. So, this 3 comes to the numerator. Nu is equal to 3 times of v by 2L. Again, we are going to substitute this v by 2L as the fundamental frequency nu 3 is equal to 3 nu 1. So, the, the third harmonic or second overtone is the three times of fundamental frequency. So, it is clear from the diagram that it is the next possible frequency in case of an open pipe. 
So finally, if you see all these three diagrams at a time, you'll get more clarity. If you see the case of first harmonic, one loop is formed in the open pipe as half plus half is one. If you see the next case of second harmonic, two loops are formed as one and uh, together they are one. So one plus one is two. So here one loop is formed, here two loops are formed and in the third and last case, three loops are formed, one, two and together they are one. So one plus two, three. And if you compare all these three values of nu1, nu2 and nu3, you'll get nu1 is to nu2 is to nu3 is equals to 1 times of v by 12 is to 2 times of v by 12 is to 3 times of v by 12. So finally, you'll get nu1 is to nu2 is to nu3 is equals to 1 is to 2 is to 3. So frequencies are in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 3. I hope you got the clarity on the concept. So if you like the video, you can share it in the comment section. Thank you so much.